presenters here today, so thank you very much for, um, for being here. I know my buddies here from the National Guard are here, they're all ready to go, so we should feel safe right now. So again, thank you so much. Of course, I'd like to introduce to you our um, board of directors. Of course, our treasurer, past president, President Emeritus, Joe Pluta. <laughs> the lady who worked so hard to put all of this together, newest member of our uh, organization, actually, Donna Lorenz. Hey, Donna. Another new member who's very, very active, and thank you to, for getting all of this together also, Mike Burr of Maui Thai. And um, my fellow Rotarians here, Richard Drummond and General Manager of the Philippine Beach Resort, Greg Nelson. Thank you, Greg. We do have more. Thank you, uh, Greg. Hopefully, you're going to be joining us um, later on today. The other thing also is that we do have door prices, but you need to sign up for that in order for you to, to win a... Um, I mean, anyway, all the door prices, I believe, is on the list right here. Right, Joe? Yep. Including a, um, a grand door price at the Grand Wailea. Just make sure you pay for the room when you check in. You just get there. <laughs> So we got a whole bunch of, including a family portrait photo donated by um, yours truly, our photographers probably, Mike, uh, Mike, Michael Kamekta Vivoli right here with MSI Maui. And where are Sharon? And Sharon right here. It's a nice family portrait setting, sunset. You know, you can go to the most beautiful background right here in Lahaina and take yourself a nice family portrait and then turn that into your greeting card for, for this holiday season. Anyway, I don't want to take too much more of your time. Again, thank you so much for um, participating um, today. You know, we don't pay much attention about hurricane and all these things because we never think it's going to happen here in Maui. Especially after, I've seen a lot of posting where people say, yeah, yeah, another false alarm, two hurricanes, who cares? But that's not true. You know, we always need to be prepared. And um, being a military guy myself, that's the reason why we go to training not expecting to go into a war, and then we finally get sent to Iraq, and we go like, holy smokes, we're now dealing with the real thing, but we were prepared to go. So anyway, thank you again for joining us this, um, this morning. At this time, I'd like to turn over the microphone to, um, to Joe Pluta, who's thank also you. our videographer. Aloha again, everybody. Thanks, my name's Joe Pluta. I started the West Maui Taxpayers in 1979, because it was the Honokawai and Apili Kapalua Taxpayers Union back then, and our friend Greg Nelson's uh, boss pro prior to that, Jack Millar, was the president of that organization. And when I came to Maui in 1979, he put me in charge of membership and he said, Joe, you're in charge of membership. And I said, well, we got to change the name. He said, what do you mean? I said, I just got here from Oahu. I can't pronounce one of the people who come taxpayers. <laughs> I said, so how can we get people to join that? So we changed it to West Maui taxpayers that included everybody here from Oluwalo to Kapalua, and that's how it all began. That was 37 years ago. Anyway, so off and on since that time, we built the Napili Fire and Ambulance Station, only community ever anywhere in the state of Hawaii to build its own fire and ambulance station. That's us, we did that. <laughs> Hallelujah, and now we're still doing things. We got the certificate of need for the West Maui Hospital. Think about that. They said that wasn't possible. That's happening, it's under construction. We'll be saving lives here in 18 months. We've done uh, all kinds of things. The aquarium, the aquatic center, it's here where you swim. That's all, you, we, we had our hand in that with then Mayor Lingle to get that thing built. The West Maui Senior Center, that's us also. Straightening out s turns Pahaku S Park, that's us also. We got a handout here to show you all the different things that the West Maui taxpayers booth of the things that we've done in our community it's such an awesome community, I'm telling you. We are such a, the west side of Maui, you know, there's a, an acronym, west side, right? <laughs> but our west side is pretty darn accurate and active in an awesome community. We want to thank everybody here, but we encourage everybody who's here to go over to the West Maui Taxpayers Table. We've got voter information things there. If you haven't registered to vote, please do so. Our primary election turnout this year was 37%, which is the most terrible kind of for turnout you could say about all the registered voters in the state of uh, Maui County. 37% showed up to vote in the primary. That's not good. So we're hopefully going to do better in the general election. You can register right here to vote. If you have it, wiki wiki vote. You can get mail-in ballots. There's no way, no reason why you shouldn't vote. Please get involved in that. Get a door prize ticket. 
We got incredible prizes. President Rick was telling you about that. Phenomenal prizes. A lot of the exhibitors here donated incredible prizes, plus we have more beyond that. So even the exhibitors are eligible. So everybody who's here, please make sure you register and get a ticket. And uh, let me just tell you, it's been a privilege and a pleasure to welcome some new board members to us. Previously mentioned, Mike and Donna, Mike Burr and Donna, just recently on our board, brought a new energy. And Donna has uh, got a passion. They're both certified with, as CERT trainers, certified emergency training experience. CERT, who's our who's CERT people here? Raise your hand, CERT people. There they are. I'll tell you, everybody should be looking into this because we were so lucky. We got dodged. Two hurricanes were just here last week, week before that, and it, they, they turned. Sometimes they could turn towards us. Who knows, you know? We were just lucky. We just can't be taking these things for granted. We need to know where we're at. Things have changed over the years. I've been here for 37 years, and I tell you, it's not the same as it was even 10 years ago when there's a, a disaster or where you need to go or where you, what you should do. All these things have changed. Everybody needs to bring themselves up to date of what to do today because it's different. This is the opportunity to do that. And you're going to hear some phenomenal experts here to tell you about that. So uh, Donna Lorenz, you want to come up? Donna? Donna's our new board member and event coordinator. She's, I'll tell you, she's done a great job. Please give her a big warm round of applause for Donna. That's a phenomenal job. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Joe. He's been my mentor. So I can't take all the credit. And I have actually talked by email mostly to all of you. And I really do appreciate all of your participation. It is my passion to um, improve the self-reliance of the West Maui side. We're often isolated due to um, fires, we're due, due to weather, uh, due to car accidents. And within all that scope, uh, we have to know where our resources are. And it starts with our own Ohana, our neighborhood, our family. And so, newly retired, my energy is going to try to work with the West Maui community and uh, the Pacific Disaster Center and the HARP program that they'll be talking about. So um, we'd like to invite the community. We'll be holding uh, future events um, and try to engage everybody in a more self-reliant health awareness and preparedness. I was a Girl Scout for way too many years. My parents made me stay in Girl Scouts. And as you know, Scouts are always be prepared. Um, tomorrow's the anniversary of Aniki over the eye of a cat, cat for a hurricane or a Kauai. So um, it's very timely. It will happen. It's just a matter of when it will happen. So everybody um, spread the word and be prepared and thank you for coming today.